Many species are returning to their natural habitats since the lockdown. The shutdown of vehicular movement, the factories and commercial establishments has dipped the pollution levels across the globe. Not only do we see the animals on land returning, but even the sea creatures seem to enjoy this break from the noise pollution and water pollution. Undisturbed habitats for marine life. Wow. Thanks to the coronavirus, imagine being bothered all the time by an alien presence in your house. Any guesses who these aliens are? With many cruises suspended to the subdued tourism, to mostly all marine activities being suspended, the aquatic species are taking controls in their hands, or fins in this case. Marine scientists have already started investigating the effects this will have on marine life. Commercial fishing industries have been hit hard due to the closure of the main buyers, the restaurants and hotels. The social distancing at sea has caused the fishing vessels to be anchored at ports. This whole scenario is like a deja vu, for it reflects the situation of the marine life after the two world wars. Carlos Durate, a research chair at the Red Sea Research Center in Saudi Arabia said, studies after the first and second world war showed a spectacular recovery. We are hoping that this unintended close season between February and June or July will accelerate the recovery of fish stocks and allow us to reach conservation objectives faster. Sound travels much farther and way faster in water than air. So imagine the plight of the aquatic life, the noise pollution from shipping, the wind farms, the sequence of powerful blasts from the seismic air gun tests used to locate the deposits of gas and oil in the ocean deep must be traumatizing. The noise levels from shipping traffic whose 20 to 200 hertz hum disturbs sea life despite being a low frequency has decreased by 6 decibels with a significant reduction below 150 hertz. The study of humpback whales and other marine life by Michelle Fournet, a marine ecologist at Cornell, proves even today how the absence of noise from cruise ships as the industry suspends operations worldwide has flipped the scenario in waters. According to that research, the removal of just the cruise ships would bring about an instant massive change in the amount of ocean noise. And clearly, this is what is being experienced. The study states that ambient noise from nautical traffic increases stress hormone levels in marine creatures, which in turn can affect their reproductive success. For example, while examining of the feces of right whales, a species of baleen whale about 15 meters in length and a weight of 70 tons, researchers have found that limited movement in the waters was directly proportional to lowering of stress hormones in these species. Fornet believes that the North Pacific humpback whales, while swimming with newborn calves in South East Alaska, a popular cruise destination, will receive the quietest entry in years. As Fornit has rightly said, nature is taking a breath when the rest of us are holding ours. After the fish, this lockdown is also providing a flawless condition for Oliver Ridley turtles to lay eggs in Odisha's Gahirmatha Beach and Rushikulya's Rukuri in India. People come in throngs to view the laying of eggs, which of course makes the turtles nervous, for they feel the intrusions of both the tourists and the forest department, which tries to protect this beautiful creature. However, the nature has decided to make it easier for them by locking away the humans. Not just in India, but even in Thailand, the beaches are witnessing the largest number of turtle nests in the last two decades. According to the researchers, the Florida beaches are thriving with sea turtles. Thanks to this closure, the baby sea turtles are less confused by artificial lights. Well, not just the sea turtles, but even the dolphins and dugongs and the hermit crabs are all coming forward. 
the decreased human interruption this year would give these turtles enough time to incubate and hatch in peace. Since the beaches are people-free, you know what that means, right? No accidental crushing of eggs or boat accidents, less garbage and other plastics entering the marine environment. The indigestion and entanglement due to the plastic and marine debris, which are also leading causes of injury to sea turtles, will be wiped out. The beaches of Palawan, a very popular tourist destination in Philippines, is all deserted. And therefore, one can see nature flourishing along the coastline. Biologists have spotted the return of thousands of pink jellyfish in the ocean due to the human absence. Nicknamed as a sea tomato, these lovely dainty creatures are now surfacing as they no longer feel threatened in their natural habitat. Along the beaches of the tourist hotspot Puerto Marcos, Mexico too experienced one of the most magical phenomena, the bioluminescence. Bioluminescence in the water is the result of light emitted by various marine life in the area. In simpler words, it is a chemical reaction that makes the living organisms emit light. The phenomenon has not been seen in this region for years due to the high tourist density. The amplified ocean temperatures and altering ocean chemistry due to the increasing levels of carbon dioxide in sea water are for sure the greatest global threat to the vital coral reef ecosystems. Carrie Manfrino, an oceanographer and president of the Central Caribbean Marine Institute, argues the lockdown could indeed improve water quality and reduce pollution. In the short term, but a few months will not be enough for coral reefs to recover from decades of decline. Not just the oceans, but even the rivers and other water bodies are clearing out, which means lesser toxic and harmful material entering the sea. India's holiest river, the Ganga, unfortunately has been one of the most polluted rivers ever. Thanks to the waste from the lives and the industrial setups along the banks, this river cost the government millions without any success. But apparently, this lockdown has helped our ecosystem to revive naturally. Not just the Ganga, but its sister river, the Yamuna as well, has improved. Lockdown has been able to achieve what governments could not for decades. There have been visible positive signs of this lockdown in marine life. But few weeks or months of lockdown will not eradicate or reverse the damage caused in last so many years. Data gathered by several studies being conducted can be analyzed and used for devising better environmental policies. With sustainable lifestyle and concrete actions by governments across the globe, the lockdown gives us hope that there is a possibility of minimizing the unnecessary human interference and letting these wonderful creatures back in their space and habitats.